Hey, we're going to talk about all kinds of different beer things today. Maybe we'll throw in a brewcast or two. Hey, that's a good idea. We'll do it next. If you're looking for serious, in-depth beer information, well, you're listening to the wrong show. But if you want fun and entertaining beer information, you've come to the right place. It's another Beer Guys TV podcast. And welcome to Beer Guys TV in this special brewcast. Greg Johnson, Shane Zeppelin. Hello. And uh, we are at the Satellite Studio, Darwin, Minnesota, uh, also known as my basement. And, uh, <laughs> well, a nice uh, couch. We should, yeah, we need to have a real big uh, Beer Guys TV yeah, sign here. Yeah. But, uh, Maybe we'll the, put a logo in there or something. Yeah, hey, that's may, a good idea. You, you, you do the magic. You know, do some like magic that. stuff in the editing. I don't know. We'll see. That's why he's the producer. He can do those kind of things. And I have all my buttons on my I shirt. Yeah, th thanks to my sister, Roxanne, who said, you going to put a button on there? I said, I don't have I was thinking about gluing one on, to be you honest. Were, you were buttonless last time. I was. So I'm all thanks. I'm, no wardrobe malfunctions for me, <laughs> no. thanks to my sister. So there you go. And I, uh, just, I, I just don't get that you don't uh, know how to sew a button uh, on. I probably could if I really had to. I'm just lazy. Uh, so. I'll sew button, like, buttons on and my fingers start bleeding because I poked holes in them. Yeah, but. see, that's, I, I, don't, I, don't need, I don't need that. Yeah, I, can't, I can't have bloody fingers. That's, I, I don't know why. I got, yeah, my, my bloody fingers. <laughs> well, which reminds me, we're oh, going yeah, to be talking about a beer today that's uh, from jolly old England. Oh. Yeah, it's a London porter. It's from Fuller's Brewing out of uh, Chiswick, uh, England. Chiswick. Chiswick. I don't know. Chiswick. Now, I've, uh, what are the beers out of Chiswick? I don't know. Yeah. Um, Rings a bell, though, huh? It does, yes. I'm, I'm who, who makes this one? Fuller's. Okay, Fuller's. Yep. Do, they don't make the banana bread beer, do they? They might. Maybe that's where I know it from. They might. I thought that was uh, Young's... Uh, yeah, I thought that was Young's or something like that, because they do that that uh, double chocolate stout, too. I yeah. yeah, it's the same, come the big, same company. Bigger bottle. I, Are they at Chiswick? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't well, bloody we'll, know. We'll do some yeah. looking up here. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm just curious little... because um, I've, I've had a lot of their, yeah. the English beers mm -hmm. from England, Yeah, and I enjoy them. Well, and that's why I wanted to do something different. Now, we do a lot of American beers, a lot of Minnesota beers, of course, because that's where we're located, right? But right. it's fun to venture out and do. We, we've done a couple from other countries and and some meh and some better than others. So I thought, well, let's try something uh, from England. And you think of England, you kind of think of the porters. So they're kind of known that's where a lot of them started. So let's, uh, let's try a, a true English porter. And uh, I'll give you a, just a little bit of detail on yeah, this. Yeah, we you? should we should wet wet a whistle here. My yeah, whistle's yeah. dry. Yeah, you got a, nothing worse than a dry <laughs> yeah, whistle. That's right. Uh, full of, uh, <laughs> you're never you're never gonna you're never gonna get anywhere like that. <laughs> kind of whistle is that, Zeppelin? Uh, it's dry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, ri rich, dark, and complex. The world's finest. It says. Of course, they're gonna say that. Well, yeah. Uh, brewed uh, brewed besides the brewed. Oh, well, maybe I need some too. Apparently. Uh -huh. Brewed beside the Thames, uh, Tam Thames, Thames. Th Thames River, um, since 1845. How about that? Um, that's, yeah. a, that's a an it's aged. An, it's an award. Uh, it's an award-winning ale. Ah. And I'm anxious to try it. Comes in just you know 5.4 percent on the ABV, 33 IBUs. So I, I, I'm looking at for the banana bread one, right? Mm -hmm. And so I'm trying to get on their website in a hurry, you know, to try to yeah, yeah. You know, do so this. I'm trying to stall for you well, here. Exactly. Working. Well, you don't have to stall. <laughs> this is a casual brewcast this, this time. This is a different one. Yeah, this is a, kind of a laid back. We're going to talk about a variety of beer related things and then uh, build in a uh, brewcast or two in the process. Yeah. Yeah. Well, anyway, they're asking for my age. And, then, and it's not just how old are you, it's like put in all these extra numbers. Oh, okay. You so know, like they your want day specifics. and your month and yeah, all what, that what, stuff. what time you were born. Pretty much. How much did you weigh? Exactly. What, what, what color was your hair? You had well, <laughs> hair? back when you had hair. <laughs> well, look at that. I, I clicked on on I clicked on this little hamburger yeah. menu, you know, and then I put in. I'm looking for the beer, and then now it asks for my age again, all over again. Oh boy! It's like, well, why didn't you remember it the last time I told you uh -huh. thirty seconds ago? Fuller's Brewery, Chiswick, England. Uh, it's pasteurized. Fuller's London, uh, London Porter is widely regarded as the world's finest porter. We'll see about that. 
We've tried a lot of porters. I like porters and stouts, brown ales and all that kind of good stuff. I, I do too. I like uh, porters and stouts better. Yeah. I like um, the kind of, uh, not the brown ales I like, nut brown ales I don't like. Right, yeah. Add you, that nut in there. Yeah, and, and, I, and I, of course, I like hazelnut, so. Yes, and, and I'm not a hazelnut not fan, so and, uh, I'm not getting anywhere with this soda. Yeah, one, yeah you're, you're, you're kind of like. Uh, I mean, I got in, but it's Charles Wells Brewing. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Which, but then, the only two beer they show is a, a lager and an IPA. Mm, well, and so yeah, Wells Wells uh, is is yeah that's uh, does that banana bread one I believe. But anyway, we yeah. should know that I know, but uh, we don't we, we don't do that many foreign beers on, on the show. But it's it's fun to do one now. And Part now. of the problem is that we do so many beers. Yeah, well, and that. It, you can't just remember where everything's from. That's why we go to the uh, the internets. Yeah, the good old internet. Yeah. So where, where would we be without it? Yeah, well, we'll check it out a little the bit. Bottle here. Yeah, it, it's. it's um, I'll show the. Uh, show the folks. Show the viewing audience here. There you go. Yeah. See. I'll do and, a little. And and you can. Ooh, I got my shadow in there. That's right. Ooh, the <laughs> shadow of shame. The shadow. The shadow knows. Yeah. London Porter. Interesting. Yeah. Well. It, and, and and again, it's it, it's fun. What what's what different countries like, or what's what's very popular in in, in other, even different regions and different uh, parts of uh, uh, the U.S. You know, people like different style of beers. Yeah. So, so it's uh, to see what's uh, popular in uh, jolly old England. Uh, we'll see. Uh, I, I notice it's got a low alcohol. Yeah, five point uh, five point four. Five point four. So that's yeah, yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, some people wouldn't think that's low, but it relatively in craft beer world, which <laughs> yeah. I don't know if I, I don't know if it would be considered a craft beer per se. Only eleven point two per uh, uh, fluid ounces here, so it's a smaller bottle, which is probably good. Mm -hmm. uh, so anyway, it's sessionable. Yes. Yeah. So I would say. I think there's only one way to find out, Shane. Well, let's. Crack I know it your open. your whistle's still off the off the dry. <laughs> See, you got dust. You got dust coming out of that thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we can't have that. Can't have that. Yeah. All right. Well, uh, let me pour you some of this here oh, London I porter. That. There you go. Kind of poured Ooh. it aggressively. To... There you go. Opens it up. Mm, so, it yeah. does. A lot of people don't. I'll just drink it out of the bottle or out of the can. Open. I don't care what beer it is, even if it's a light beer. If you, you maybe wouldn't notice with a traditional light beer, but uh, it, it makes a difference. Yeah. Whoops. Uh, it's best if I don't spill it all over the place. That's good. You need any more in or are you good? Or wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Well, give you me tell a me. I don't know how much is left. Oh, well, I guess I could. <laughs> I guess. That was a whole bunch of nothing, wasn't it? <laughs> Just the foam that you shook up at the That's bottom. That's right. Again, Fuller's London Porter. Uh, I was reading this on the back. I thought this was kind of interesting. London Porter uh, takes a name from the, the porters who used to uh, carry around the, the streets of London, um, carry goods around, the, the porters. They carry oh, stuff. sure. So porter, yeah, it really, really was oh. named after a porter. So, you know, okay. yeah, from the 19th century, or is it 18th? 18th century, wow, that goes back a ways. Uh, this is, I guess, a prize award-winning uh, beer right here. So it's a working man's beer. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. yeah. It smells interesting. It, it I can smell it as soon as I open it up. It's, um, yeah. It's definitely different than like what maybe a Guinness would be. Yeah, oh for sure. Because a Guinness is uh, obviously a stout. Porters are, you know, there's yeah, they're they're negligible difference, but they're right. seems they have, to be they, have, they have some very uh, some nuances. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, this it, one it, smells sweet. Yeah, and you can see kind of a it's dark, but it's not black. You know, it's a right. dark, very dark brown. Yep. You can smell some of that maltiness, some some biscuity uh, smell off biscuity, of there. Biscuity, there you go. That's the Brent word. Yeah, there you go. Um, Huh. Well, we should sit back and enjoy this beer. Well, I think we while should. we talk about beer things, let's talk about beer things, and Let's we'll kind of work our things. review into it. How about that? There you go. Yeah. So we're not going to do this the formal way and break away and then come back with our try it, buy it, or skip it. We'll still do that eventually, but we're going to talk about just beers, just and, and stuff. beer events, and beer things, and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, one thing I know we're going to talk about is some of the beer events. You know, people. Especially if you're newer to craft beers, get out and enjoy some without, you know, they're afraid to buy a, a, a six pack or something because what if I don't like it and stuff? A beer tasting event is a great place to, to go find out. Yeah, and any kind of beer tasting event. I Speaking of which, can we taste this yet? Well, I've been tasting it Have already. you? Oh, that's, 
You had to wet that whistle. Uh, that's exactly. Is that better now? Oh, see. Little, it's getting there. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> smart. <laughs> it might, uh, yeah, we'll see how far this gets, but we'll see how wet it gets after this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But might have you to start enjoy. to drool and stuff that we're cutting you right? off. <laughs> no no more beer for him. Right. Uh, but we're talking about uh, beer tasting events that you can go to. Uh, of course, as we always say on Beer Guys TV, always have a DD. You go to one of those events, you think, oh, I'm just going to try all these little samples. But they do add up. And they do. We see it all the time. And people go at the end, oh, man. Uh, well, yeah. Well, They're... I was asked that exact question. Uh, okay, so last weekend, actually last Last weekend, I don't know when this broadcast yeah, yeah. is going to be live. So, so a while so, back. Uh, yeah, a while back. Um, a few weekends ago, could be from this broadcast. Uh, my wife and I actually met you and, and your Carol. significant other. Yeah, yeah. At, uh, at a brewery in the Twin Cities. Yeah, and, yeah. and so we, we did that on, on a Friday night. Uh, enjoyed a, a, they, they had food there, so we enjoyed like a supper. Yep. Uh, if you call a hot dog a supper. Yeah, well, but it was a special. It was a gourmet hot dog. Yeah, that's right. And I ate one. Those, <laughs> yeah, you, those of you that salad know me, over here. Yeah, that, I was like, I'll try one. And you didn't you, have a salad. So <laughs> it actually was pretty good. Well, and my mine was good too. It was an all beef hot dog. Yep. And it had uh, some cheese on it and some kind of a special sauce. Uh, and my, fr my hot dog was deep fried. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know and that. And then it had a slice of bacon along the side. <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> <laughs> All on a pretzel bun. Yeah, the pretzel bun was really good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, um, yeah so it was a good time. And we, we had tried their brews. Mm -hmm. uh, and for us, you know, it's, a, it's an hour and 15 minutes. Yeah, it's a, right. it's a bit of a hike. But... So it's a hike. And, and so, you know, it's something that you couldn't just go, you know, you don't want to stay too late at. But... Um, so I tried a beer and then I bought some crawlers and, and went home Yeah, and tried some more. And tried some more. Right. Oh. So then the next day, uh, there was a free beer and wine tasting in uh, Granite Falls, Minnesota. Wow. Okay. So from us, that's an hour and 15 minutes of a flight mm, drive. Sure. So Chris and I went, my wife's name's Chris, for those of you that maybe don't know, but they maybe do, I don't know. She's kind of crazy. Show frequenters. Should know that. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she wanted to do this free beer and wine tasting is at a new co-op tap house. A co-op tap the house? The first nice. one in the state. Huh. So what they do is um, you buy shares into this thing, and of course they use that revenue to, you know, hmm. buy supplies sure. or whatever. Yeah. But then they get Minnesota beers on tap, and then you go there and you buy your beers. As a shareholder, I was told that you get a discount on your beer. You know, when you go in. Just an so. incentive right there. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we, uh, and another couple of friend of ours, uh, we went down there and just tried some different samples. Uh, I had one beer. At, at the t I, I, I paid for a beer. I bought a sure. beer. Because we always pay for a beer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 99% of the time. Misconception that we get free beer. <laughs> or Not the case. Well, we, we once kind in a of while. Do, yeah, yeah, once in a while we do, uh, or if we get press credentials to go to a beer event, right. which we've done that. Or, oh, and we've had some of you fans uh, give us beer to try. Yeah. yeah. So thank which you. We, Keep up the good work. <laughs> There's, we have room in we, the fridge. Yeah, which we will accept. Yes. Right? Well, we can. Uh, but we went down there, and, and they had three different breweries there, uh, Brow Brothers, mm -hmm. Talking Waters, yep. yeah, and uh, Montevideo, uh, yep. and, and then Bank. Out of... Uh, uh, out of, uh, yeah, right on the edge of, the, of, of, of Minnesota, too. Uh, Hendrix? Yeah, Hendrix. Yeah. yeah. I know. Minnesota. Jason would be, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. you guys, were, yeah, you remember thankful. me? Yeah. He's Actually, he was on one of our brew Yeah, and I think uh, that's uh, on our YouTube channel. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so that goes so way back. Look, yeah, you can watch. Uh, ten years we've been Jason. doing this. Ah, uh, it's been ten, a long time. Ten, ten years, wow. Yeah. We have to have an anniversary special. Maybe we will. Yeah. Anyway, but, uh, so we, we got down there and we tried the different beers. And, and they had sample cups that were the little plastic, yep. you know, almost a shot glass size. Sure, yep. Uh, and then you got to sample the different beers. And they didn't have anything tapped. They, everything was, was uh, in bottles. They had oh, the, okay. They broke open six packs and whatever. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. From these different brewers. Sure. Um, actually, Talking Waters had the big crawlers they would break, mm. you know, crack open. I don't think they'd sense. do smaller cans. But 
so we tried that and and that was it so you know i was okay i was driving right okay. and so we were there for probably a couple hours mm -hmm. and having the one beer you know and i made sure like when i'm when i'm out drive when i'm out doing this and i'm driving i will enjoy a beer yeah uh but i look for the low alcohol of beers and yep. i'll have one of them and usually i like uh, it, like a sessionable IPA mm -hmm. or, or a stout or, like or this. Pale ale or something. Yep. Yeah. And I just take my time while, you know, everybody else is having two or three. I just sip on the one and I'm fine. But I will always buy a crawler or sometimes a growler or whatever mm -hmm. they say. I will take beer home. Yep. So that when everybody else, they're all sleeping, I'm still wide awake. Hey. He's a night owl, <laughs> folks. I am. So I'll go back to in the backyard or in the garage and stuff and... and I'll light up a cigar and I'll sit and have a, a beer and enjoy it by backyard fire or, you know, in the garage if I'm putzing around or whatever. Sure. So so that's how I do that. And somebody asked me that very question. You know, mm -hmm. okay, how do you, how can you do that? And and sometimes my brother will take a turn driving. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you know Greg will take a turn mm -hmm. driving. So we'll I'll take turns driving, and uh, let the other ones kind of have a little bit more fun and taste more. Sure. Right. Yep. Then the driver stays you know stays back <laughs> yep uh throttles himself there you go then yeah. then yeah. they'll bring a uh growler home now if if you're courteous to your dd you'll buy him or her a couple growlers to enjoy when they right. get home doesn't seem to happen for me but you know <laughs> I gotta buy my own <laughs> chris doesn't hook you up no no well, you know but whatever. I mean, so you can go out and enjoy these uh, tastings, but do the DD thing. Yep. Uh, and moderation's the key. Exactly. Yep. Try these local ones, and, and this one was free. So they just want you to come in, enjoy the place, try it out, check out different beers. Well, and sometimes they're free. Sometimes yeah, yeah, you got to pay it again. You get, get into in. the more elaborate ones where they've got live music and yep. uh, a ton of brewers. and Maybe and, some uh, snacks. Some, and it's a lot of times uh, classes. Yeah, yep. or prize giveaways. Yeah, so, whatever. and then, you know, it's still, if you look at it for what you get, people go, oh, that's a lot of money, but you get a lot. Yeah. I mean, and especially if you if you take your time and don't try to rush in there and get your money towards it on the first five vendors, you know, like some of those, <laughs> I'll get back in line again, well, yeah. settle down. You got to pace yourself on those. Um, you really do. We've done events in the past where it's been four of us, mm -hmm. and two of us are running cameras. Uh, two of you are you, I guess. Yep. It's always the host. Yeah. Greg's always the host, and we had another person as a host, yeah. and and so you guys would be kind of doing more of the talking, um, and we'd try the different beers, but. We would get into those with press credentials, and, mm -hmm. and so we didn't necessarily pay to get in. Uh, but we were our, working. Yeah, our pay was to uh, promote the event, um, promote the brewers. So that's what we did on the background. That's, that's kind of how it works. But um, we were there from before they opened oh, yeah. until after they closed. Yeah. Half the brewers are gone before we pack yeah. up. Yeah, and because, you know, we're just finishing up interviews. Well, I was going to say, a lot of times those guys are so busy that we can't get a word with them. And when, oh, well, okay, i got to come back to this guy. That's yeah. maybe a popular one or whatever. Yep. And you can't get them at the end after things have settled right. down. And so yep. so we'll try. And, and so we may get into uh, an event or two um, uh, with press credentials, but we're not getting... Nowhere near. Oh, I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you broke it down, uh, by yeah. Uh, we, I mean, we get little tastes only because you know we have to stay sober while we're doing the interviews and while we're filming and conscious about you know what we do and say. And, and a lot of the a lot of the craft beers, as you probably know, uh, are, you know, higher ABVs. They can they can uh, sneak up they, on you pretty quickly. Can. So you really have to pace yourself. And a lot of times, when we go up and we'd like to taste something so we can talk about it intelligently, but we said just just pour a splash in a glass, just yeah. want to get a taste of. We're not getting a bunch, and so and most of the time they want to pour you more, but <laughs> no. we, we you know we we that doesn't work out real well. Pretty no. soon, so what kind of beer you got? <laughs> no, we don't want that. that. That's that's because again, we really we really promote uh, safe consumption. Mm -hmm. You know, never drink and drive. Always use a DD. It, it just doesn't. Uh, it's just not worth the risk. 
No. Uh, but, you know, and it's hard because you know how it is. You, you get into some of these craft beers and pretty soon all of a sudden, hey, man, everybody's friendly and having fun and you get caught up in it. You just have to really kind of watch yourself and, yeah. and be aware. And then that's not to say, like, if you have a DD, you can, and you go to this thing, you pay your. A lot of times they're around thirty bucks to get in. Mm -hmm. uh, enjoy yourself. Absolutely. Uh, try, try all the different beers that, that you like. Try some you don't think you like. Yeah. But really, the best way is to avoid the ones you know you don't like. Y yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. don't don't just because it's free, go yeah. grab a glass. Right. Well, and, and that's what happens. Yeah. Well, I know I paid my way in there. I'm gonna, I don't like this beer. I'm going to drink it anyway. Yeah, well, I'm, I can yeah. get my money's worth. Well, yeah. And, and you see the real the people that are really into it have a, like a scorecard and they're oh, taking yeah. notes. And they, oh, I definitely want to try this beer. When you when you interview them, they've got certain beers. And after that, then it's kind of like okay, then it's whatever. And that, that's, that's yes. a good way to do it. And that's what they'll do is they will try the ones they know they want to try. They have their list. Mm -hmm. Could be maybe they're comparing IPAs. Maybe they're comparing yeah. brown ales. Uh, they'll try those. They'll sours. do their scores. Yeah, the sours, that's hugely popular now. Yeah. And um, they'll do their scores. They'll, they'll okay, I, now I'm going to try something else, try something else. No, no. It's coming back How, up. How's that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there's a review. <laughs> that's coming back for a second taste. Yeah. You know, that's an English thing. Yeah. Yeah, Try it again. It's like the fish and chips, I guess. Yeah. Huh? It's an English thing. <laughs> well, we did uh, kind of a, an event of our own mm -hmm. uh, a few weeks ago. We did, uh, which is relative to whenever well, you're watching and, this. But and yeah. so the date was March 17th. Yeah, so there you go. It's in March. Yeah. yeah. And oh. so we did kind of a beer and wine tasting mm -hmm. in Litchfield. Yes, it was a conjunction. fundraiser. Yeah, it was a fundraiser for the Catholic uh, school. Yep. Uh, and no, they didn't have school kids there no, no. drinking or s nope. serving or anything. Uh, but uh, it, it was in conjunction with the Darwin Liquor Store. Yeah, Katie Katie from the Darwin Liquor Store actually put it all together. They asked mm -hmm. her if she would be in charge of it, and she's like, eh, okay, yeah, you got to know Katie. <laughs> and uh, uh, But she did a good, great job. Oh, yeah. The food was uh, great, great uh Job food, on the food. Yeah, she, food she, was she's excellent. always real kind of well, he wants to make sure everybody has there's everything from pretzels to more elaborate stuff. So you had something real quick and snack, yeah, they had, so. like barbecue meatballs and yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, the roll up things. Yep. Uh, yeah, it was, Jeez, all, it was good. Uh, and of course, water and stuff for the DDs, but yep. uh, a good uh, a silent auction and all that to raise, raise some funds. But not a ton of vendors, but just for a small event, just right, I think. I think so too, and uh, we've even we've got some clips. Actually, we'll show you some of these clips here. Yeah. Uh, we had some of our crew was uh, yeah. actually pouring beer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well, exactly. So we've got some video on that. We got Greg doing some announcing. Did a short little video clip. Uh, well, actually, let's 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 just run the clip. That sounds like a good idea. Hey, we're at Darwin Liquor Store, Darwin, Minnesota, right here on Highway 12, and we're going to check in with Katie here at Darwin Liquor and find out how everything uh, went down with the uh, raise your glass. Uh, beer and wine tasting that we had just uh, last Saturday night. Let's go in and talk to Katie and find out how it all went. Follow me. Hey, there she is now. And there's Vern too. Hi, Vern. Hello. <laughs> hey, over here. Uh, the, the, the star is to the right. There you go. <laughs> hey, look at them socks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Took the boots off. Don't you got the socks? Well. We are here at the Darwin Liquor Store. Greg Johnson along with Katie Really, Katie, you were the uh, force behind this uh, fundraiser that we had just this past weekend. And when it was all said and done, we were going to try to talk to you, but you were still running around like a crazy lady trying to get, take care of everything. And so we didn't want to bother you. We thought we'd come back, get a recap. How'd it go? Fantastic. We had an amazing turnout. Yeah? Yep. It hit the numbers you were looking for or exceeded? More than what I was expecting. The orders that we got afterwards were great. Uh, we had a great help from the uh, from St. Phillips and all of our, our group that came to help too, including you guys. And, and that was that was the whole point was to uh, raise fun, funds for St. Phillips uh, Scholarship Fund, right? Yep, yep. And so they had to be some happy campers? I think they were very happy. You had a ton of stuff for silent auctions, so lots of, uh, lots of the local businesses uh, kicked in and helped out a lot there too. Uh, so everybody kind of bidding things up. You had all kinds of, I mean, you had all, the whole gambit of stuff going you on there. You did. You had a little bit of everything there. So it was and and uh, uh, you had uh, several several uh, vendors there, a beer, you had wine, you had uh, uh, spirits. And, yeah. 
And then you, you, you were kind enough to offer 12% off of anything that people ordered that night, and they're just going to come back here and get it, right? Yep, yep. In, including some Juice Z, which a little private stock for the beer guys here who are going <laughs> to take, take with us, but lots of other stuff that you had as well. Anything outstanding about the night? Anything special that stood out to you that, wow, this went better than, this part went better than expected, or? Everything went so smooth, I don't think there was nothing that could have gone any better. Like everybody, we got a good reply off of the beer, the liquor, the wine, everything. Well, I heard lots of compliments about the food and stuff, and I know you were the you were the person behind there all that. There should have been compliments on the food, there was foods in it. Oh, well. <laughs> That's why everybody liked the meatballs. That's so. all, I, I kind of like the meatballs. <laughs> no, that explains it. Uh, yeah, food, food was good. Um, uh, and and a, good, a, good, a good variety of stuff. It wasn't uh, for those that wanted a little bit of everything. It wasn't just all beer or all wine or, or all spirits. It was a little bit it's of nice a, a to good mix. mix. It up, then everybody gets a little bit of whatever they like. So yeah, yeah. Well, and I think what helps a lot is you've done a few of these now, so I think you kind of know the pitfalls and the things that uh, need a little uh, extra attention. Yep. And it's always our pleasure to uh, to be on board and help you out with those things. So, it's, but it was fun for us as well. We had some of our. Uh, Beer guys and beer gals uh, pouring. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And yeah, they, they, they said it was kind of crazy, but they, they it was crazy. Good. It was yep. mass crazy. Yeah, and uh, and then there was uh, some live music afterwards. I don't know what time you left. We left a little bit before you did, but uh, you know. It wasn't that late. <laughs> okay, okay. It was like we, eleven. We, we won't put you on the spot. It was there. like eleven. -ish. Yeah, oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. No. So was it was it good for for the Darwin Liquor Store as well? Yes, yes, we did. I mean, and we get. We do this not just for to help the community out, but we also do this to help boost our business as well. Sure. We're yeah. a small town liquor store. We don't get a lot of business. You know, yeah. this is good PR for us, and it shows that we're out there to help people for the community yeah. through this fundraiser. Well, there you go. Well, again, great job as usual. Thank you. Well, great job, you guys. Oh, well, sure. Could have done it without you. It, it, well, what was nice from my perspective, I did the MCing part, and the gals that were helping out, they'd come over and, hey, can you, do you need anything? What can we get you? And they'd bring the, the tickets. They'd, you know, they, excellent. So yeah. couldn't ask for anything better. Yeah. And, and the weather cooperated. Oh, yeah, for yeah, sure. So that's always a, a, a part of it and as well. And we had so. a crappy winter, so people needed a place there to go. There you go. Well, you, you did a great job. Thank and, you. Uh, uh, hats off to everybody on that. And uh, invite everyone to stop by, check out the Darwin Liquor Store right here on beautiful Highway 12 at the home of the largest twine ball, Darwin, Minnesota. So come on by, check it out, and say hey to Katie and Vern and everybody else. And I think that's going to wrap it up for this one. And uh, thanks for the update. And we'll see you next time right here on Beer Guys TV. Until then, beers to you. <laughs> Lots of them, too. <laughs> that was a fun event. That was, that was fun. And I think everybody there I talked to said, oh, you know what? I was actually more fun than I expected it to be. Yeah. And uh, and, and nobody got crazy. And I, I think a couple of people were really surprised on beers that I, because I, I know, well, Carol was one of the porters, and I asked him, what they, how, how is the, the response of people? To, a lot of them were hesitant to, oh, I'll try it. And they're like, oh, heck, that's not so bad. And the, people have a misconception of uh -huh. some of the beers. Oh, it's an IPA. Oh, I know I'm not going to like that. I'm not a huge IPA fan, but... There are some very good IPAs, so yeah, I wouldn't know unless I try them. So I, uh, I actually didn't have any beer. No, at that event. <laughs> wow, some I know. beer guy he turned out to be, huh? <laughs> I was I was running the camera, I was filming. You you were busy. I was chasing around. Um, well, and we we're all lending a hand with. Uh, yeah, with we're helping ice where, and whatever. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Where you need something or whatever, and yeah. uh, helping people and uh, giving pointers. Yep. People would ask us uh, about different beers and and some of the servers they're just they're just servers they they right. don't know anything about beer themselves yeah, so people. when they get questions they don't know like hey help exactly and so i was busy working the mic giving away prizes and, and yeah uh, uh, things like that uh, meat raffle and all that good stuff so i did get a can of beer to take home though yeah yeah, yeah. so yeah. so i had one at home that night. there you go um i didn't care for it but that's yeah. me hey but and, hey and, <laughs> yeah, well, i won't say what it is but yeah, yeah, but it was just something that that uh, I thought it sounded interesting, and the can looked very. Well, it's very inviting. bold of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I got home and I, and I I I drank it, and I'm well. I don't even think I drank the whole thing. Yeah. Wow. Because it was a bigger that, can. A... It was a 16 uh, ounce can, and I don't know. It just didn't. Yeah. Sit and, well and, with hey, me. and that's what we we always say. Not every beer is going to be a home no, run for you. No. And, and I might like that beer. Right. You know, so it's all it, it's all subjective so we try stuff that's what mm -hmm. we say and if you don't like it give it one more shot
because sometimes your palate's off. We've talked about this a bunch of times, or, or paired up with some food, whatever. And if you just don't like it, you don't like it. And that's yeah. fine. Yeah, I did give it a second shot. Did you? And Still I, didn't like it. Okay, well, <laughs> fair enough then. Fair enough. It would get a skip it uh, if we did it. Yeah, you it would get a skip it from me. But. I think I know what beer you're talking about, and I, I'm kind of on the same page. Okay. But, so, um, I did run across a beer uh, just recently. That I think it had gone funky in the bottle. Gone funky. It had gone funky. It was a, it was a <laughs> I think sour. I have too. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get funky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Old funky guys. Uh, yeah. It, it was a sour, mm. but it it was uh, I, it tasted weird. Mm. So it, it was a a small glass, and, and as you brought it up to your nose, mm. it smelled like Parmesan cheese. Doesn't sound like a good beer to me. No, and then. Despite oh, the smell, <laughs> sorry, it's coming up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Despite the smell, I tasted it anyway. Yeah, well, that was a mistake. Yeah, yeah. no, I think it must have turned because I can't, I can't see that somebody would make that on purpose. Mm. But yeah, so that happens too. You might get a bottle, a uh, can, or whatever. Usually, not so much in a can. The cans tend to make beer last longer. Yeah, and that's a misconception I want to just touch on, if sure. you don't mind, is people say, oh, can beer. The beer's got to be in a bottle. Well, it used to be that way for a time. The technology nowadays, the cans are almost actually better than the bottles because they're sealed tighter. A lot of times the, the, the cap on, on, on a bottle, I'm just, you know, I'm, it's a show and tell time. Sure, sure. You know, you got those little edges on them. Yeah. A lot of times if they're not pressed on completely tight or and they'll have a good seal they they, they they can leak a little bit of air under there it's, it's very subtle but over mm -hmm. time or a can it's 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 tight and they've got in the uh, the the, uh, the metals used are different doesn't taste metallic or not anything like that no they're coated yeah and people that say well i can tell the difference i could pour it in a glass and i can almost guarantee you would not know the difference because i i used to think that and i no i prefer to drink out of a glass oh absolutely and okay. you should so that that's where it comes in yep. but but as far as storage, yep. a can is... is uh, well, well, people think that uh, that, that great. metallic is, taste is going to you know, pour it in a glass. You're well, still going to taste it, but you're not. I don't just know. think that a keg yeah. is a can. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> it's a big can. <laughs> it's a giant really. can. Uh, well, you're right. And so anyway, that's, uh, the technology has caught up and in, in, in the, uh, the nothing wrong with canned, canned uh, beers. So, and you see that as a trend. More and more of the craft breweries are going to cans because you can crush the cans. They're easier to recycle. They're easy to carry with you. Mm -hmm. If you go somewhere, if you got bottles, well, now you got a big clinkety-clank-clank thing going. Mm -hmm. Cans, you can crush them, throw them in a bag, and recycle them properly. You can recycle these too, but it's just a lot more bulky. There's a lot of places that you can't even bring bottles, like uh, on beaches. Oh, right. Uh, yeah, by yeah. pools. Yep. You know, things like that, that, that you, yeah. you know, you're better off just getting cans and... Uh, yeah, I, so it's really the trend. I think you'll see more and more more do that. The bottles will always be, always be here. That's just tradition, right. but yeah. the, uh, don't be afraid of canned beer. There's nothing wrong with that. And in some cases, it can be better. It can stay longer, so... Larger breweries, breweries that can afford it, they'll do both. Yeah. Yep. Uh, shells, for example. Oh, yeah. They're they'll good. they'll do fire brick in bottles for yep. those that want the traditional... They'll do a fire brick and cans yeah. for those that want portability. Yeah, and and, and, and even they'll even do both in the old uh, grain belt premium, the, yes. big, the big friendly, the big sixteen <laughs> ounce, uh, and they'll do it. You can get that, of course, in the clear bottle yet, and, yep. and then uh, Northeast and all that same thing too. So, yeah, yeah, you see the bigger breweries got to have the uh, the uh, facilities to do such a thing. So. You know, we should probably do some kind of review on this before it's gone. I was going to say, what do you think of this beer? Well, uh, you know, it's interesting. I get I get a smokiness uh, on the back end mm -hmm. of it. Do you get that too? I, I get it actually on the front end as well. Oh, oh really? As I, I can smell it just a little bit, as, especially when it warms up a little bit. Yeah, I get a little bit of chestnut. Yeah, there's there's some you, nutty You get in that there. too? There's yeah. some nutty. But it in goes fact, well with that smokiness. In, yeah. yeah, in fact, I was, uh, I, I would say this is a little bit more brown ale-ish than... Yeah. Porterish, yeah. From, no. what, from what we, yeah, from our standard, from yeah. our perspective, I guess, you know, when I'm talking, when I'm thinking a stout or a porter, I'm thinking a beer that's black, just yep. black um, Guinness, yep, yep, and uh, those types of beers. Right. There's right. stout beers that craft brewers make as well that are, you know, black like this. Yep. Microphone, and uh, but more sweet. Like Guinness isn't sweet. Right, yep. 
Um, this doesn't, this, I don't know, just doesn't seem like it's that dark of a porter to me, but maybe that's just their style. Yeah, and that, that might be the, that London style porter. Um, again, 5.4% on the uh, uh, ABV, only 33 IBUs. You get a little bit of hop in it. It's got the frugal, yeah. uh, or uh, the, the fugal hops. I'm going to get that fugal. right. Frugal. Yeah, yeah, frugal. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's different. Um, so, um, hmm. You want to you want to give it a rating? Well, you, you always do. Yeah, I, I to me it's a uh, well, I like English beers anyway, and this has that English style. Mm -hmm. And there's some uh, craft brewers that will brew a an English style uh, bitter English bitter beer or whatever. Yeah, English use. yeah bitters. Yeah, um, and I like those. Mm -hmm. I I mean this is on par. I think this is a a, a good beer. So it's a buy it for me. Mm -hmm. Um. Definitely a try it, but for sure I buy it. Um, I, I could probably drink a couple of them yep. in, in a in a sitting. Sure. Uh, enjoy, I would enjoy probably a medium cigar with this. Medium. Yeah. You're, you're the he's the cigar if he's Yeah, I, I I'll kind of. Yeah. I mean, if you like cigars, and you kind of know what I'm talking about, that there's a the darker, full bodied mm -hmm. cigar, which is, would be like a bold stout hmm. oh, sure. and then on the other end you got what might be a, like a Connecticut which is a, a really light wrapper hmm. like you see the, the really uh, tan light tan cigars sure so that would be kind of like your um, Pilsner <laughs> oh really so then there's a range in between and so many different flavor nuances and some beers go well with other other certain cigars so um, I, I you know Try it for me. What do you think? Well, you, you had to buy it. There, I'm sorry, you? I buy it. I'm sorry. Yeah, so, I'll buy so, it. Okay, so it is. Yeah, it, it, maybe it is a lighter buy it. If you had to yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, you gotta like the English style beer. Well, and, and again, we rate them in the category they're in. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we might like other beers better or or not, but in, in the in this uh, uh, category, so a light buy it for for Shane. Uh, I'm gonna go with a strong try it. I'll get right to my my review. Um, it, but uh, I like it. I, I, I kind of like that smokiness. I know some people don't like that. Uh, Carol, for instance, goes, yeah, she's not doesn't like that smoke thing. But I, I kind of, to me, that helps make the beer. I get that little bit of chestnut, maybe a little bit of deep fruit. Um, yeah, maybe like a date. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Like, yeah, 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 a date or a fig. Mm -hmm. uh, fig. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Figgy pudding. Yeah, <laughs> that seems appropriate, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, so yeah, so a strong try it and a, uh, light, a, a light, light, light buy it. So yeah, if, if you like English style beers and you haven't tried this one yet, then check out the London Porter from Fuller's out of Chiswick, uh, uh, England. So yeah. there you go. Well, good. That would, uh, something different. Yeah. Yeah. We like to, we like to mix it up a little bit, uh, but we, we generally are heavier on the Minnesota beers only because we're here in Minnesota. There are a ton of craft breweries here. And we like to, of course, take care of the the homeboys. Yeah, you and and I guess we would consider ourselves pros in the Minnesota. Yeah. Review circuit and and that kind of thing, and mainly because we just don't venture too far out. Yeah. Now, that's not to say that we haven't tried a lot of beers from oh, around, yeah. around the country and even the world. When actually. we can, we'll yep. we'll get beers. Uh, well, if you travel or yep. if I travel, yep, we will always bring a beer back from where we go. Yeah, we got a couple of distributors that help us out a little yes. bit, and we'll get a. a Sometimes they ask, "Oh, well, you may, maybe you'll sample this one because they want to get a, a review and, a, and kind of a little bit of feedback on it." So, and we do that on occasion. But yeah. most of the time, we go out and buy our own beer and just try it. So, um, but anyway, anyway, that's that's a review on the uh, Fuller's London Porter. So, oh, what, what's, I, I'm I'm empty. Does that mean your your whistle's <laughs> going to get all dry again? <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to do yeah we're well, going to build another one into this uh, I, well, special brew cast we're going to take a short break okay while i fill my glass mm. well actually let's just get another beer and apparently we'll we both have to too. yeah look at you all right look look at you <laughs> well again this this bottle is only 11.4 uh, uh, ounces so oh, which is kind of good us out of 6.6 .6 ounces i know those those bloody brits <laughs> you know <laughs> Limeys. <laughs> uh, anyway, but yeah, that was kind of tasty. But yeah. a, we'll do a short break, and we'll come back, and we'll talk some more about some beer and about some beer, stuff. some beer related stuff. All right, we'll do it right after this on Beer Guys TV. We know that one serving just isn't enough, so there's more Beer Guys TV on tap and coming up. 
Beer Guys TV brings you beer reviews and beer-related information in a fun and clean, entertaining way. Our website is a combination of beer articles, reviews, products, videos, and now podcasts, too. And you can also find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Check those out. Please take a moment to visit our sponsors as well and tell them that you heard about them or saw them right here on Beer Guys TV. That will allow us to continue to bring you entertaining beer reviews and other fun stuff your way. And remember to enjoy your beer in moderation, never drink and drive, and always use a designated driver. That way you'll be around to enjoy more beer tomorrow. Hey, thanks for listening. And now, back. Hey, welcome back to this Beer Guys TV brewcast. It's a special one from the Satellite Studio in Darwin, Minnesota. Greg Johnson along with Shane Zeppelin, and uh, we are talking kind of all things beer today. Yeah. Or t- tonight, whatever it is. And we, uh, we just checked out a, uh, a beer from England. Yeah. And now we're going to get a little closer to home because, Shane, you brought us uh, another beer. I did. It, this one is, uh, you saw that coming in, it's from Shells. It's yeah, Shells Brewing out of New Ulm, Minnesota. New Ulm, yeah. Yep. It's their Stag series, and this one only comes in what they call their Peacock Pack. Yeah, I, I picked those up before. Yeah. It's kind of interesting. Got different beers in it. Usually they have like three of their mainstays. Yep. Sometimes they have two mainstays, one semi-limited release and then something really limited which yeah. is what this is this peacock pack this spring has firebrick kellis pills no hellas hellas road mm. oh um, yeah uh, yeah that one yep and then a keller pills oh yeah i think that's what it is and then it has this rye india pale ale Hmm. Okay, so that's that's what caught my eye. It's a I, rye PA. It's a rye PA. <laughs> I like rye PAs. Yeah, yeah. Well, you uh, would. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, like rye rye beer. Um, I read a little bit on the rye beer. Yeah. Rye is kind of a poor man's beer. Oh. Or poor man's malt, I guess. Okay, because you're, you're rye whiskey and, and yeah. Like that. The, so that's kind of the Okay, that's we're out of everything else kind of grains. Rye is kind of okay. It's really, it's got a, a twisted flavor. I mean, you think of rye bread. Yeah, okay. I, I like rye bread. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, um, not quite like twisted like pumpernickel. I mean, that's got a t- really twisted flavor. Mm, I like that too. <laughs> <laughs> Occasionally, I like that. Yeah, uh, but rye um, grass, sure, whatever. Sure. Like it's like wheat, but then it's rye. Is a is a little, little bit molassesy, mm. which but I like molasses. We like it all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> so a rye beer um, is kind of they've been making these recently, uh, a little bit more so, a little bit more popular. Yeah. But it was never a an ingredient that would be like considered, you know, would go in a beer sure. as a mainstay. Yeah. I Bro, think years maybe, ago you never heard of it. Yeah. No. Um, and I was going to say maybe during the Depression, but they didn't have beer at all. Yeah, <laughs> during it was, the yeah, Depression. It's it very hard to come by. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. it was like bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that kind of during the Prohibition thing, right? Right. Yeah. Uh, but um, I've just kind of grown. It's it's a, an acquired taste, maybe mm-hmm. like bourbon would be. Sure. You know where yeah. it's. Or coffee, like some people say, coffee is an acquired taste, and but I just happen to like rye beers, and mm-hmm. then I've no, and I've had just plain rye brews mm-hmm. that aren't IPAs, mm-hmm. but then they're starting to hop them up. Yep, and make rye IPAs. Something like this has got a little hop in it. It's kind of hop, yeah, hop forward. It says hop on forward. the can. Um, you, you've you've acquired a lot of tastes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know. You're right, though, because, you know, years ago, I, I, I didn't drink coffee until I went, started going on the road with the NASCAR deal. Okay. And I was like, okay. I, I, did, I drove a lot. So, um, I got to so, stay at work. Yeah. And then I went, hey, you know what? It, you know, and there's a difference in, in the same thing with these beers. There's, there's a difference. And you learn oh, to go, yeah. okay. You can see, you start, once you start appreciating certain flavors and tastes, it, it, it makes it a lot more fun. Everything's got a nuance. I mean, yep. Well, coffee, wine, beer. Right. Um, well, and that's why we all don't like the same one. Yeah. Otherwise, we'd all be drinking Bud Light. Yeah. 
<laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> Hey. But yeah, some some things are just an acquired taste, um, well, and it's, sometimes it takes a while. You, you, my my tastes have even changed over the years. Mm -hmm. um, some beers that I really liked before, and before meaning uh, ten years ago, maybe. Sure. I'm now. It's like mm, I don't know. Yeah, you know, so, so some of that. Yeah, you're right. Though a few years ago, it would have been my oh my go to beer. Yeah, yeah, not so much like, anymore. Mm -hmm. Now I got a new new go to beer, but after a while, it, meh, you know. Yeah. Uh, and I've gotten, you know, I used to for a while there. It was just it was lagers only. Okay. Then, then it became, I got hooked on the uh, uh, porters and stouts. Still, still like them. Don't get mm -hmm. me wrong, but now I'm finding myself starting to drink a few more lagers again. Yeah, I think just to change it up. So, it's all good. And but, shells isn't really known for ales. Shells makes lagers. Right, yeah. Firebrick is a lager. They've yeah. got their lagers pills. They've got their yeah. lager. I mean, a lot of their beers are lagers. Mm -hmm. So they do the log, lager deer brand. style. Yeah, deer brand. <laughs> yeah. They do the lager style uh, brewing. Yep. Right? So ales are, I mean, it's not their specialty. Right. There's some brewers that just IPAs, and that's what they do, and they do it well. What, what I think is nice about shells, especially in the last, Ten years or so, they've really uh, expanded their line and really trying to do mm -hmm. more with the craft beer industry. And uh, I just saw online where they were bringing in a, a whole new uh, uh, brew house from uh, somewhere in Europe, and they're oh. having it all shipped. They're building on, and they're going to add a uh, more area to to uh, to brew. So <laughs> I know, wow! But and then they've got the the, the Star Keller where, yeah. where they the sours. I yeah. mean, so they've really come a long ways, and they're not afraid to experiment and try some different things. And they keep themselves relevant in, a, in an ever-changing yes. beer culture. Yeah, I guess. and they're big enough to kind of roll with the punches a little bit. Yeah, or some of the smaller guys can't quite do that, but but yet they don't act like it. They're good people, and, and every time oh. you know, we talk to them at an event, they're all, "Hey, how's it going?" and uh, "Hey, come down and see us again," and that kind of stuff. Yeah, very you. friendly, yeah. And, and they do have they they don't have a tap house. They they they're too big to sell beer on site. Yep. But um, you can go down there, you take a tour, it's five bucks. You walk around, you get to see the old brewery, the very mm -hmm. original brew tank and all that fun stuff. Really old pictures and you get to learn it's about fun. the history. And then and a lot of it's yeah, yeah. second oldest family owned brewery in America. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, the story that they tell us is that um, during the Sioux Uprising, Mm -hmm. Right, in Minnesota, which is the Sioux and Indian War, or whatever, it didn't last all that long. But when it happened, uh, the the Indians, uh, Native Americans or whatever, they attacked New Ulm, but they left the brewery alone. It was because uh, August Shell was always friendly with the Indians. Sure, he, he yeah. welcomed them in. Yeah, they did and trade. They yeah. trade, and yeah. and he. Yeah. Uh, let them hunt in, in his woods and yeah. things like that. So so they uh, left him alone during that that time. Uh, so that's a fun story. But then they'll yeah. they'll give you a tasting. Yeah. At the end. Yeah. At the at the end, you go down into their uh, looks like their own, it looks like a tap room. It, it looks it like basically a tap room. is, but it's just a gathering spot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And they'll have different beer on tap. They give you. Uh, they do a, a an a, 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 I don't call it official. Um, but it's a tasting where they'll talk about the different beers. Right. They'll, they'll, they'll pass them around. Yeah, they'll okay, pass this, them here, around. Here, here's our Pilsner. Yeah, yep. Everybody will pour some. And, then... and they'll give you the nuances of that beer and why you know they brew it their way. And then they do about six of them. Yeah. And then you get one free glass of your choice of whatever you want. And it doesn't even have to be what was served. They've got other beer on tap. Right. Yep. So it's a fun time. If All you ever for get five down bucks. There. And plus it's a beautiful facility. Yeah. You know, yeah Peacock. Really cool stuff in their gift shop too. Yeah. Yeah, they do. So yeah, I, I like going there. I, I like go. I now I'm in the mood to go back down there and visit now. <laughs> so anyway, Shell's are brewing out of New Ulm, Minnesota, and uh, cracking her open. I right? am. I, uh, oh man, your, your whistle is starting to dry up. I see it dust is. is starting to come you, out again. You you can't wait for this one. I <laughs> you can smell it right off the bat. Uh, yeah, uh, a rye PA. Well, there you go. Lots of head on that one. See. Well, I kind of. Yeah, down the pipe kind of a, well. aggressive pour. That's okay. It op like you said, opens it up, and yeah. uh, you should you should uh, you want to have some head on your bit. beer because it really does make a difference. And the smell. The first thing you want to do uh, on a beer is 
take a, a big a big sniff of it. It actually gets into your senses. Yeah. And you should actually do that more than once. And it, it, it uh, prepares your palate. And, and not that you have to get all technical. Some people just, I just want to drink beer. Okay, fine. But <laughs> if you really want to take your time and enjoy it. Yeah. A couple, two, two or three good sniffs through the, through the sinuses and through the palate. And then... Uh, it really, it really opens things up and gets, it prepares your, uh, prepares your palate for whatever it is that you're about to consume. So, well, it smells. It can smell. It smells kind of citrusy. I would say, huh? Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think, I think it's a good combination of citrus and floral. Mm-hmm. Kind of keep you, you picking up on both, yeah. I am. And it, it doesn't say. Um, let's see. Hop forward, crispy. Okay, on the can, here's what it says, because there's nothing on the website. Right, yeah. And so right, won't we, find we, we don't have IBUs and all that stuff for you like we try to do. Yeah. Uh, but on the can, they, they describe it as a hoppy and robust rye India Pale Ale, showcasing both new and old American hop varieties. Ah. So they new, don't say new what and kind. old. New and old, yeah. Mm. The amber brew is balanced, hop forward, and crisp with a dry and spicy malt character. Hmm. Well, we'll see if we concur here when we consume this product. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, well, Shell's is always interesting. I, I, yeah, they got a couple of beers like their snowstorm is different every year. Yeah. They call it the snowstorm. Uh, yep. You never know what it's going to be. And we've liked some, some not so much. But that's hey, that's the way it is. Yeah, I've had some snowstorm where it's like I've bought a six pack after six pack. Yeah. Yeah. Some snowstorms I'll buy a six pack and then the next year I notice I have four bottles left. The next time it comes out, it's like, oh yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes, hey, but, and and it's it's just what they happen to do that year. Yeah, it, it, throw it, some spices it, it, in. There's probably somebody else that went, man, I love that beer. Yeah. I bought all kinds of it. Yeah, yeah it's, it's okay. Yeah, it's all uh, it's all up to you, the consumer, and us here to ta- tell you all about it. That's what why that's why we're here. And tonight's uh, brewcast is a little bit different. We're talking about all kinds of different things. Yeah, and uh, we're glad to have you on board. We appreciate your support. And uh, we hope to uh, make another trip down to Shells here. Maybe we'll do another. We'll, we'll do some filming down there again. You know, last time I think we're, I think we're all down there was for uh, one of their Oktoberfests. That was a f- that about was, three years ago. Was that what it was already? Going on the third year, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. That I was guess fun. this fall would be three years. Yeah, so. that was fun. Yeah, that was fun. That was actually when um, uh, th- th- there was a birthday party. Yeah, well, yeah, for Ted uh, for Marty. Ted, yep, Ted Marty's birthday yep. party. And I don't know, there must have been... How many people do you suppose are down there? Mm. Three thousand. I I'd say you're okay. probably pretty close to that, yeah. And they gave cupcakes to everybody. Everybody, everybody got I, a cupcake. I know we all had one. <laughs> I know. And they, they still had big boxes yeah, of giant cupcakes. And, and and there were some good looking girls bringing them around. Yeah. I mean, not that I noticed from what they were saying, but well, they're in I their noticed. German German outfit. <laughs> Uh, you know, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? I don't know. If, I know it's a leader hosing for the guys, the li- women. Uh, 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 Oh, my wife's going to kill me. I don't remember this. Yeah, uh, it'll pop in your head later on. Not the... Uh, that was fun. Not a Grendel? Yeah, uh, you're, you're uh, on the right um, order. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Something like that. Anyway, somebody knows. Yeah. They're going to post post on here. Uh, you yeah. Idiots, Feel free. <laughs> hey, you can always email us anytime, too. BeerGuysTV at gmail.com. Right. So, yeah, make requests and things like that. But uh, anyway, Shell's always, always an interesting beer. This one, it does have that kind of a... Um, um, dry uh, mouthfeel, yeah. dry finish to it. Yep. And, and and I pick up on that rye flavor. Mm-hmm. It's a little kind of molassesy, but but pungent. I don't know if that's the right word. Yeah. Not tart, but it's um, kind of a sharpness. Yeah, like kind a, of a, a bitterness. Like uh, a sharp cheddar cheese might be. Yeah. Extra sharp. Extra sharp. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's really really sharp. Um, I really like the hop in there, though. Yeah, I like. I like. It's a. It's more floral than citrus to me. Yeah, well, yeah. Once you can, yeah. The, to me, it smelled a little bit more citrus, but I think the taste is more floral. Yeah, it's. I I really like it. I don't know if it's a mosaic, or, <laughs> excuse me for what, because I really like mosaic hops. Mm-hmm. Well, it's some of the new and some of the old, as I said. So I'm not sure. It'd be interesting to to know what what's what's in there. We might have to. Uh, Find out from shells. Might have to. I I, I uh, connected to a couple of the brewers on Twitter, so I yeah, and they do. Shells will answer on their Facebook. They will, and and Twitter. Yeah, any yeah. kind of social media you you do for shells, you you ask them questions. Yeah. Uh, 
unless it's a hey, what's the secret beer I hear that's coming out? And they'll go, they'll say nothing. Yeah, well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> um, you know, but, speaking of visiting breweries, yeah, on the 17th of March, yes. which was St. Patrick's Day. Ah, uh, uh, <laughs> I know where you're going with this. Oh one. yeah, well, that was a fun. That was a fun day. That was a very fun day because we did a yeah. a uh, wine and beer tasting in the late afternoon, early evening. Yep. But before that, right, we took a trip to our buddy. Yeah, Pugs. Pugs Hayes in Buffalo, Minnesota. Yes. To the Hayes Public House. He had, of course, it's it's an Irish uh, brew pub. So of course, yeah, St. Patty's Day weekend, they're going to have a big weekend, right? <laughs> they're they going to have, have Friday, a, Saturday, Sunday that's thing. That's right. We made part of Saturday, and we had a good time up there. We did. Do we have some clips from that? We do. Whoa. Shall we show them? I think we should. <laughs> Let's Here's do it. a little it. something from, from Hayes Public House in Buffalo. Check it out. See what you think. Well, as I said, we're at Hayes Public House, and uh, right here with the boss man himself, Pugs Hayes right here, Chad Zeppelin, Shane Zeppelin behind the camera, and there's a beer guy back there trying to get through at some point, but he's okay for the moment. <laughs> lots, of, lots going on. Big celebration, of course, St. Patty's Day uh, right here. Uh, you, how can you go wrong at Hayes? And, Thanks for joining us, uh, Pugs, and having us up. Thank you. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Yeah, well, it's, it's always a blast when you guys come out. Oh, we always enjoy a, a good stop at Hayes, and you've always got great beers. I'm trying, of course, your your uh, standby, the Hayes Irish Stout, one of my favorites. Yeah, uh, can't go wrong with this one. Nice, no. sessionable, easy, good tasting beer. How about you? What are you are you having that as well, or? I'm on the stout. See, there you go. And Chad, what are you drinking over there? You got uh, one of those Cascales going yeah, on. Yeah, one of his, uh, you know. The, the whiskey or red, whiskey, whiskey red, red oak uh, aged barrel. I don't know. You can it's, got the, it's got the Dubliner uh, Irish yes. whiskey in it, right? Yes. So we got uh, got some Dubliner Irish whiskey, and uh, we inf we infused some uh, some of that whiskey into some oak spirals. Gotcha. And then we took the uh, oak spirals and we put them in a cask with our Irish red. So nice. you get a lot of those oaky vanilla whiskey for sure. Flavors. That's all, you're always trying something new and different here too, like that. Now I know a big, big weekend obviously here. You started on Friday with a lot of things. Today it happens to be Saturday. Big list of things going on today, and then tomorrow you got a, a, an Irish brunch as well, right? Yes, That's tomorrow good. at 10:30 uh, we teamed up with Drake uh, Drake O'Neill's over in Otsego. Oh, okay, and, um, Drake O'Neill's. Yep, and uh, teamed up with them. They're going to be doing the uh, the Irish brunch for tomorrow morning. And, Yum. Uh, so yeah, mm. got a really cool kind of deal working with them. Um, Phil over there, he's the owner. He's such a good guy. He's been good to us. So we got our beer over there. Uh, we got these $2 off tokens. Uh, oh, so like that. the tokens there, you get $2 off a pint of our red, or their red, I should say. Yeah. So it's good. Good, good teamwork. Work. Yeah. Good, 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 good teamwork. Yeah. Two so. Irish pubs coming together and, uh, yeah. Well, much like your uh, your anniversary, you've got a, a, a variety of casks today. And what, you got anything special going on? They're all special, I know, but what, what do you got uh, in your uh, casks today? Yeah, so we took those same uh, Irish whiskey uh, uh, spiral, oak spirals, and we, we put them into our Irish stout as well. Oh, oh really? Oh. So that'll be tomorrow. Um, okay. We have... Uh, we have apple, like our apple ale we infused with cinnamon. So nice. Oh, going. yum. Uh, we have a cask of Irish stout with uh, a toasted marshmallow. Mm. Oh, and, uh, that sounds good. We actually yeah, took the cask itself before we filled it and we cold smoked the inside of it oh, wow. to give it wow. some of those smoky flavors. We, we hope that it works, but you never know. <laughs> it was fun to play with. So hey, yes. you know what? You can never go wrong. You, know, you might say, okay, maybe they, uh, we could do something different next time, but hey, somebody will drink it. Yeah. <laughs> My wife actually tried the apple cinnamon. Loves it. Yeah, so yeah, light, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's very good. good. That was a good time. Yeah, that, that was, you know, and uh, I still think uh, I got to get you doing the Irish jig, <laughs> that with the with the, with the girl or the river dance kind of thing. The river dance, the, yeah. yeah. They don't move their arms much, do they? No, they sure don't. They're like, eh. <laughs> but and then the music feet. was screwing up on one of them, and uh, yeah, that was. Uh, yeah. Uh, I talked. To her, I, I talked to that that gal that was doing oh, that one, and I, I met, ran into her outside. I said, that, "That throw you off in the music?" And she goes. Now we're we're pretty well trained. She goes, we were doing a, a world uh, championship uh, competition at one time, and and, and that happened. Oh, well, oh, no. She goes, enough pressure when you're doing a world championship dance yeah, competition. Right. Then the music messes up. The, but we got through it. And we still did pretty good. I don't think wow. they, they didn't win, but they did did well. But hey, good for them. So yeah, concentration. Right. But uh, a lot of things were going on there, and and pugs uh, had some fun fun special beers and. Uh, 
he's got a fun crew up there, and we always, we always, I always enjoy stopping by there because they're. I haven't really had any bad beers there. No, I've had they, beers I like better than others, and that's yeah, all I can say and, about that. Right, always I mean, good stuff there. Beer is quality. Yeah, and that's what he strives for. He's not trying to have a ton of beers. He's trying to have this this many, but all of them be good. And and he likes to have that 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 social environment. Uh, people interact and have fun. So for the, for this event, um, and he's had a big. Actually, we were at a big a big event, that, and you can go back to YouTube and watch this. Uh, that he had a big event event last fall. Oh an anniversary. yeah, it's the anniversary. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that was a big. We were there for the parade. And yeah, everything. and he had I don't know how many different casks of oh, yeah. beer on all kinds of different flavors, right? Mm -hmm. So he did the same thing here, but he only, he only had two different flavors, mm -hmm. and they were both good. They were. One was a, uh, my favorite, uh, was a toasted marshmallow mm -hmm. stout. So on, they took his stout, yep. uh, did a smoked. They smoked the, they smoked. Smoked the inter internal of the firkin. Yes. And then, the, oh, excuse me. <laughs> And then steaks yeah, coming yeah, back. Yeah, the steak series. And then uh, and then added that, that marshmallow to it, which you didn't really taste. I didn't really taste marshmallow much, but I did sweeten it up a little bit. Yeah, it did. I did get some smokiness. Yeah, I did get a little bit of that. Yeah. Actually, we have a clip of uh, of one being poured yeah. and red talking about it right now. Can we check it out? Sure. Let's do it. That's oh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the uh, the haze I reached out out of a cold smoked uh, cask yep. with a marshmallow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got to try some. It's very good. I don't have any, as you can see. <laughs> you better go get some. I think I shall. See you later. Have fun. <laughs> Well, hey, everybody, again from Hayes Public House in uh, Buffalo, Minnesota. Greg Johnson, Chad Zeppelin, Shane Zeppelin, and we've we got the beer gals around as well. Had a great time here at Hayes, and uh, Pugs and the staff do a great job, great beers. And uh, you're tasting one of the favorites of the day. Smoked marshmallow. Smoked oh, marshmallow on the uh, Hayes Irish Stout with a little bit of smoke. Uh, yeah, very tasty it's indeed. Fantastic. Uh, so we, we've, had, we've had a good time, and, and uh, thanks to Pugs and the staff for hosting us and having us here. Our pleasure to be a part of it. But had a great time. Met some neat, neat people. Some of our fans stopped by. Good to see them. And uh, we uh, encourage you to stop by anytime you're in the Buffalo area here at uh, Hayes Public House. But uh, good otherwise, company. yeah, good, yeah. good folks. Tell them the beer guy sent you. Huh? Well, that, yeah, that was a very tasty yeah. beer. That was probably one of my favorite of the day. <laughs> it was. Uh, 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 yeah, it was. That yeah, was good. I would, uh, if it wouldn't have been for that, we had another event to do. I might have had a pint of that, but I was, right. I was, uh, I was DDing myself. Mm -hmm. uh, I, oh, I had a DD that day. That's right, you our did. group did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah, boy, that helps. It, it just takes the pressure off because yeah. it's tempting when, you, especially when you taste something. You go, oh, I'd like to have a glass of that, but right. you can't. Right. And, and again, always be smart. It's not it's not worth the risk. And from and the same thing at Hayes, uh, he sells growlers. Mm -hmm. I think he might be getting uh, into uh, cr not howlers or the half growlers. Oh, the growlets. Yeah, I don't think he's going to do the canning thing. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Uh, but he talked about getting a, a smaller container. Okay, so yeah, howlers or, or growlets. Uh, there's so many different. Yeah, the now. 750. Maybe the 750s. Okay, all right. That'd be the growlets, I yeah. guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah, those are nice. I like. In fact, if I have a chance, I'll buy two or three different varieties of beer in a in a growlet mm -hmm. before I go to a growler. Mm. And a lot of times it's because I'm the only one drinking the beer. Well, and once you open those, yeah, you got you like got a short window. Yeah, there. like a couple days. Yeah, at the a most. couple days, and you should you should, if you really want them to taste at the premium, that's that's yeah. what you got to do there. And I can't drink a uh, growler of the same beer. Oh, in two no, days. That, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and unless unless you start at breakfast and you, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe on a weekend. <laughs> maybe on a weekend. Well, you know, if I don't have to go anywhere. Yeah, get a good oatmeal stout or something that goes good with breakfast and then uh, <laughs> pace yourself throughout the day, right? But the thing is, is that a growler, you'd have the same beer all day long. Yeah, that's so true. So if you start with an oatmeal stout, you're going to finish the day with an oatmeal stout. That's true. That's pretty heavy That's beer. a lot. It's going to be a, <laughs> that's a, it'd be an interesting day for you. It would be. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he and, and so I'll buy from, he does do uh, some of his limited editions in bottles. Yeah, yeah. And some, so, some, so I'll we buy get, them. pick up a bomber or two of those. Yep, and, yep. yep. And they're what, twenty-two ounces or whatever they are. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, yeah. I do too. Yep. That's uh, it's usually just enough. I can't drink a whole one myself in one sitting because mm -hmm. that beer usually, at least for pugs, it's yeah higher alcohol. Right. It's a 
a barrel aged something or mm -hmm. it's got you know mixed with whiskey or bourbon or something well and that's the thing, and, and I used to wonder, well, why do they have to jack up the uh, ABV in them? Because I, I prefer, but that's just sometimes just part of the brewing process. It's not always yeah. on purpose. No, it's not on purpose. Lot sometimes they'll do it because they want. Hey, this is twelve percent. Yeah, and there yeah, are people cool. that like that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But yeah, it's just some. Of, it's just part of the process mm -hmm. because of a lot of times they're actually a sweeter beer too. Mm -hmm. So you got more sugars, and of course, oh, sugars right. turn into alcohol and. Yep. All that fun stuff. Yep. All that, all that good stuff that goes <laughs> on. Um, yeah. Yeah. No, it, we, we had a good time there. Ran into some fans. They're like, hey, beer guys. Wow. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're getting to be uh, yeah. Well, that's, that's, uh, somebody. <laughs> yeah, there's two, three people that know us now. <laughs> oh, that's fun. We, we, appre we appreciate you. Yeah. And, uh, uh, but... Yeah, yeah. So you get a chance. I guess what we started off the show with is get out and go to some of these beer tasting events. Go right. To a, go to a local craft brewery. If you're traveling, uh, you're out and about somewhere, and and, and you're and you're you're staying somewhere, and there's a craft brewery brewery nearby. Go over and check it out. Yeah. A lot of times they have a food truck, or or maybe they serve food. Mm -hmm. uh, you can find some interesting foods uh, to go as well. Yeah. Uh, it, it that's makes what sense. we like to do. Carol and I will go out. We'll find out. Well. Sometimes we'll even go online. Oh, they got the so and so food truck there. We like that one, and, and, and if, hopefully we like their beer too. But we'll go there just to something to do. So makes for a fun. fun yeah, day. Chris and I did, we'll do that too. Um, uh, in the summertime, we'll take motorcycles. Mm -hmm. um, my brother and I will ride bike, and of course we won't. We'll have a like I say, like just we pace ourselves, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah especially um, on a bike. Yeah, and especially on a bike, uh, I, I I just have again the really low alcohol. And I have the small glass because they'll sell ten ounce yeah, glasses. Yeah, they're nice that some of them do offer a yeah, ten ounce. Uh, ten sixteens. So, yep. So I do the ten in the low ABV. Um, I'll we'll sit there for a while and, and I'll just be slow. Yep. Um, yeah, it's not a it's not a race, you know. No, and then and then we, uh, but then again, I'll buy buy three crawlers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then so when I get home. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Right. You, you wanna? Uh, yeah, I'm home now. I'm home now. Yeah. I <laughs> light the fire in the backyard and. I'm sitting out here. Yeah. Well, we've we've done a few brewcasts from your backyard. We have. Yeah. 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 And uh, so I, that's always fun. We so get out get out and enjoy a little bit. Don't be afraid of some of these beers. And a lot of times, if you go up there and say, "Can I just taste that first? They're usually more more than happy to let let, let you try something. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or or get a flight. You know, that's always an option. I used to get flights. Yeah. Um, what I found, uh, especially if I have to drive, there's such a variety of alcohol mm, in yeah. each one and you they're all this they're all what five ounces i think yeah they are. You, that's pretty normal yeah yep. but a four glass flight of five ounce glasses that's 20 ounces of beer and sometimes there's six six beers yeah sometimes there's six yeah uh and so if and you have two of them or maybe even three of them that have seven eight nine percent alcohol it sneaks up on you it's yeah it does yeah. so you, flights you got to be careful with too so i found again if I'm driving now, if I'm if I'm riding, I will do a flight because I no, I don't worry about it. Yep. If I'm driving, I'm gonna okay. I'm gonna pick that, you know, four point five percent. Yeah. Whatever it is, a ten ounce glass, whatever. And then if there's a beer that interests me, I will buy a crawler of that beer. Mm. In fact, on Friday, uh, when when we met uh, a couple weeks ago for mm -hmm. supper. Oh yeah. Uh, at Wooden Hill. In uh, Edina, in, Minnesota. Yeah, in Edina. There, you know, of course, I was driving, and it's a distance, you know. Yeah. Not that that means anything. It doesn't matter how far. You shouldn't be de you know, yeah. drinking and driving. Right. But um, I had a glass there. Yep. And Chris had two or three. Yeah, because you were, you were driving. Because <laughs> I was driving. Yep. But I bought three crawl crawlers to take home. Right, yeah. And uh, then when I got home, I had one. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I, and I had the whole crawler. Sure. Like, crawlers. Yeah. 22 ounces. Yeah, once you crack those, it's a bomber, open. isn't it? Yeah, pretty much. It's Probably. a bomber in a can. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess it would be. So, uh, yeah, and, and so I, I had one when I got home, and it's like, oh, okay. So I get to, I, I, that's how I do the my flight. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's more expensive that way. <laughs> yeah. But hey, I get but, more beer. Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> it, it's, it works out for you in the end. Exactly. Yeah. Well, that's that's uh, interesting. That's, that's and that's a good way to go. Yeah. And, and well, you know, Carol and I travel quite a bit, and, and a lot of times we'll do the same too. Even if we'll stop in at at a local uh, uh, 
liquor store and just ask what, what what's popular local and just you know, buy some stuff to bring it home and, and to try it. A lot of times it ends up on a brew cast. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it, it gives us an opportunity to try something that was local in whether it's Nebraska or Colorado or uh, mm -hmm. you know, Georgia, whatever. So we're, we're, we, uh, we, we, it, it's, a, it's kind of a fun hobby. It is. And it's uh, popular right now. So we, uh, again, as your taste changes and, and uh, you, you, you'll find that, you know, it, hey, this one down here, this IPA, you'll stumble onto something and go, wow, okay, I really like that one. I, you know, like, like we, we did a uh, brewcast recently, mm -hmm. and I don't know if it, I don't think it's aired yet, but uh, it, it it's Carol is a definitely a porter stout gal. She she tasted this uh, called a tropical IPA of some kind uh, in the Twin Cities, and and she went wow. She bought two bombers of it, and we ended up doing a brewcast. I think everybody loved it. So. Yeah, it was it was uh, uh, you'll you'll see the it might be on either before or after this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, depends on what the producer does. Yeah, exactly. I, I, it depends on how things end up in a queue. Sometimes we sure. move some ahead of the next or whatever. Right. But we do. Uh, we try to release one a week, a yep. brewcast one a week. Yeah. Um, we, which, which, on a side note, if you haven't uh, found us on Facebook yet, make sure you find us and oh, yeah. post them in. Also on Twitter at Beer Guys uh, TV, um, and, and I think Facebook is just Beer Guys. Facebook is Beer Guys. Uh, YouTube is Beer Guys TV, and then Instagram just Beer Guys as well. I okay. believe. Okay, it might be Beer Guys TV. Yeah, it probably follows uh, what Facebook does because they're owned by the. Same yeah, company. but I think I think I did get Beer Guys TV. Okay, well there you know. go. Well, just search for us. You'll find us. You can't miss these two mugs. Yeah, I mean we're yeah. usually wearing our yellow. Yeah, so we look like bumblebees. We're there yeah. uh, on there. But to check us out, we post a lot of stuff. A lot of times we'll post us a little, little uh, fun pieces of information or something that's in the news, beer wise, or whatever. So. Uh, follow us and, and tell your friends, and uh, also make recommendations. If and if you tr try a beer that we brewcast on, uh, leave a comment on what you thought. You know, do you agree? Uh, is it a try it, buy it, or skip it for you? Yeah, yeah. We, it's, it's just it's real fun, simple. It's, it's fun to get comments. We get them every once in a while, and it's like, oh wow, uh, we gave it a, a strong buy, and they went, ah, eh, skip it. They went, well, hey, I guess just or, or vice versa. Mm -hmm. So this goes to show that everybody's got a different. Uh, Taste, it's all subjective. So we just try to bring you a little bit of information and a little insight into, into what uh, we think yeah. after our, with our 10 years of experience. Right. Wow, 10 years. Anyway, <laughs> been fun. Been a lot of fun. What do you think of this uh, steak? Um, the rye IPA from the shells. Yeah, uh, it, it definitely leaves a dry mouthfeel. It's got the, uh, it's, it's flavorful up front. Um, you got you got that got the hop like you said. Uh, I'm not the big IPA guy, so for me it's a uh, try it kind of a soft try it. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So I, I would I would I would pick a different if if this was sitting next to some of the IPAs I know I like, uh, I would have to grab one of those. But yep. not that it's a bad offering. It just isn't my thing. Sure. So so much. So a soft try it in its category. Soft try it. How about you? I've had uh, a few rye IPAs. In fact, if a brewer has a rye IPA, I will try. I will always try that one, even if I'm going to drink something else. I'm going to have a little shot glass of that or whatever. Mm. Um, so I've had several. Uh, I do like rye IPAs. Um, some some are better than others. Mm -hmm. Some are, are done well. Uh, I think this one is done well. Okay. Okay. So um, this. This uh, Stag series from Shells, right? I, India Pale Ale, mm -hmm. is done very well. Uh, very clean, very crisp, not muddy to yeah. me, you know. Uh, but you taste the rye and you get the hop. Uh, a very small hint of sweetness. I would say the sweetness comes uh, maybe from the rye where it's a little bit more molassesy. Mm -hmm. um, maybe biscuity, mm -hmm. like you say, mm -hmm. you know. The biscuity from uh, Brenton always, yeah, yeah, yeah. but he he picks up on that. Yeah, that biscuitiness, which is kind of maybe a more yeasty. Mm, yeah, uh, but slight. Uh, I don't get a lot of yeast out of it, but I can see where there's some biscuitiness. Mm. Biscuitiness leaves some nice lacing. It does, and that again, that's kind of probably where there's there's some sugars in there that stick on the hold on to the glass. But uh, to me, it's it's a buy it. It is, yeah. Yeah. Now the sad thing is it only comes in this peacock pack, 
and you only get three. So, uh, I mean, you got to buy pardon me, <laughs> two of them to get a six pack. And well, well, uh, like, yeah, their their Stag series is, is interesting because they've had some really really good beers in yeah. the Stag series because they just really they really specialize on that beer and they really kind of uh, it's small a very batch. limited release. Yeah, very small batch and. Sometimes uh, the Stag series, you can see them being released in a six-pack mm -hmm. by itself. Right, yeah. Um, and if you do see it and it's something you like... You better grab it. Yeah, grab it, because it's not like they're going to come back out with it. It's That's a one and done. They had a uh, porter or stout or some, some kind a couple years ago that was on the Stag series. And Carol tried it. She goes, oh, that's, well, let's go get some of this. That nah, was gone. We went, <laughs> we went to all the major liquor stores. Nope, now it's here and gone. Oh, you know. So <laughs> you see it, it's something you like. You better uh, scoop it up. Yeah, for sure. So, but so uh, yeah, it's a buy it for so me. So it's a buy it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. a, a soft try it for me, which just shows you. Uh, and, but with Shane, you really like that, and, and that's that's uh, awesome. So if you if you're a rye IPA person, you might want to give this a whirl. Yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Nothing wrong with that. No. No. I still have some. Ha uh ha. -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm <laughs> empty. Yeah. I won't tip it all the way upside down, but yeah, I, I, I yeah, I think it's a good one. Um, I don't. Know, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, yeah, that was that was just something different, and yeah. I know it's a little bit long, uh, but uh, we kind of covered a, a variety of things. Bottom line: get out there, try some stuff. Let us know what you think. And don't be afraid of some of these beers. And uh, the other thing I want to talk about is, um, real real quick, you try, if you're trying a variety of beers, maybe a flight or you're at one of these beer tasting things, um, cleanse your palate. I know it doesn't, you go, yeah. huh? yeah, you know, a couple pretzels or something, it'll change your, your, your whole, otherwise you, you kind of linger the taste. Like if I drank another beer after this, this one would still be, have a lingering effect. Yes, that, that's a good point. Um, I know Neil from Locker Brothers. Mm. He is. Oh, he does a great job. Yeah, he does a great job, and he'll actually at tastings. He did this at, at the tasting we were at. He brings his own cheese. He'll cut up a lot, you know, little yep. cubes of cheese. Yep. And then he'll tell uh, the people to try the beer. Okay. Yep. Then have a bite of cheese and try it again. And changes it just everything. Changes the profile of of the beer. Yep. Or the or you know I mean basically it's coating your taste buds. Yeah. But you have that cheese flavor, and then he does different cheeses with different beers, so it's not just the same cheese. Right. I think he had a, a Gouda, might have been even smoked Gouda, and then he had a, a little bit more of a sharp, like a cheddar or something like that. Yeah. There, I can't remember which one it was. Mm -hmm. Two different cheeses, and then he'd have people try a couple different beers. Sure. He usually has chocolate chips too for the porters yes. and stouts. Yeah, for yeah. the porters and stouts, he'll throw in a, a dark chocolate of yep. some sort. Yep. Um, but that's always fun to try too. Yeah, yeah, and then you're like, wow, what a difference that makes, and people are always amazed at that. Another fun thing too, uh, that an idea that we did actually, a few year, a couple of years ago, we had a a, a Christmas gathering. Mm. Yeah. And then we just bought a wide variety of different beer, and we, of course we had different foods throughout yeah. the evening, snacks and hors d'oeuvres and, yep. and dessert and dessert everything. and everything. Yeah. And then we had different beer to kind of go with each course, mm -hmm. and we. By the by, the end of the night we were just like, oh, I can't move. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm, <laughs> I'm so full. It, well, so much food and it was all great. And of course, then the beers and stuff is like, okay, I'm kind of done here. Exactly. But, yeah, <laughs> but but it was it was it was really good because some of the beers really paired up well. And yeah. and, and even like at the end, I think we had a a, a porter or stout that went with the uh, the, the the cupcakes. Right? Yeah, the Guinness that, cupcakes. Yeah. And boy, was that ever good. And it's yeah. like, man. It, so and, and real quick again, I don't mean to keep extending this, but. Uh, you know, you tried this at, at Woodhill Brewing. Uh, you had the uh, uh, a, a stout or a porter, a stout. Oh, a, a float. Flo float. A beer float with yeah. a stout. If you do a, the right beers at those, people go, ice cream and beer? No way. Yeah, yeah way. It, yeah. It, it, it's, it's, uh, it's really good. And you see there's actually places that, that offer that, like, like Woodhill did, uh, and, and they'll have a, a, a nice uh, porter or stout uh, mm -hmm. float. So, in fact, I just saw some on... on uh, 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 what brewery was it? I just saw it on Facebook. They were offering gelato with a with a. With oh. a I'm like, man, that, that, <laughs> that thing sounded awesome. So don't be afraid of those kind of things either. Try something. Yeah, yeah it yeah. makes it fun. The whole culture is fun. Yeah, exactly. And it's always a place you can hang out, and yeah. people aren't there to get, you know, loaded. You know, what I mean? they're there to enjoy some a couple of craft right. beers and maybe play a couple board games and, and hang out. 
Okay, hang on. So there you go. Check out some beers. Let us know what you think. But that's, uh, I guess, going to about wrap it up for us. I think so. All right. I know it's a, a long one, so we'll, we'll uh, bring it to a close. But uh, that's going to do it for Shane Zeppelin. I'm Greg Johnson. And until next time, beers, beers to you. There you go. Yeah. Cheers, mate. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> well, we got nothing left. Yeah, I know. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. That's not too good. That's not too good. That's not too good. Beer Guys TV reminds you to drink responsibly, never drink and drive, and always use a DD. Be sure to expand your beer list by trying something different. Remember to check out BeerGuysTV.com and find us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Thanks for listening to this Beer Guys TV podcast. Sponsor messages you hear on our podcast are paid endorsements unless otherwise stated. These messages help us bring Beer Guys TV to you. We encourage you to support our sponsors so that we may continue to provide quality entertainment and information. Our reviews are honest opinions. Your opinion and taste may vary. We encourage you to try beers and products for yourself and form your own opinions. We'd love to hear from you. Tell us what beer you like and send us your suggestions for us to review. You can contact us at beerguystv at gmail.